Good afternoon, everyone. Many years ago, wag na natin lagyan ng number, I belonged to a group handling a small brand, now popularly known as TM. Many of us here may be familiar with the Globe's mass market mobile brand with taglines like Power to the Piso. Sana natatadaan nyo pa yon. It was during a time that our team was looking forward to meeting a new head. Of course, we get anxious and excited uh, by these new changes, right? We were anxious about the new challenges and we're also excited to meet the newest member of the team. What were, what were, what will be her ideas? What, what kind of leader would she be? From the TM brand, we were excited to meet our new leader who can help bring our small provincial mass brand to new heights. Then, in comes a statuesque, well-dressed, elegant woman. And all I could think about in that moment was, paano ko siya dadalin sa maasin late? Paano ko to dadalin sa palengke tour? Right? But you know what? Isa proved to be so much more. Along with her customer-centric leadership, she took TM and many other brands and businesses within Globe Telecom to new heights. And through it all, she was more than a boss. She was also an excellent mentor and a great friend. Isa's consumer inciting discipline taught me the significance of creating value for the customer. Constantly keeping our ears on the ground and being curious about their needs and what could make their lives better. Thinking on my feet was also a key discipline I've developed and fondly passed on my team today. This sense of diligence to be well informed and familiar with your numbers and customers will allow you to plan ahead. Lastly, Isa was the first one to entrust me with a leadership role. And throughout my leadership journey, she would often remind me that my priority should always be taking care of people and ensure their growth as we shape them to be leaders in their own right. With everything we've been through, what I take to heart to this day is that when you focus on the customer, you will never go wrong. The diligence, the constant inciting that she taught us all leads to making every day better for our customers. And she would often remind us that if we could just contribute to making their life easier, even for just a little bit, then we are on the right track. I can stand here and tell you more stories about how inspiring of a leader and a wonderful person she was or she is. But more than that, Isa taught me that the work will always speak for itself. The success of brands, people, and businesses under her leadership is proof that diligence and compassion for customers and people will not fail you. And I think that I can speak on behalf of everyone that worked with her past and present, that her invaluable life lessons have shaped us to be who we are today. So I'd like to thank and congratulate my friend and our outstanding mentor, GLOBE's Chief Commercial Officer, Aisa Guevara Cabrera. Hello and good day. I am humbled and honored to have been selected as one of Market Masters awardees for 2023. I'd like to extend my gratitude to the entire Mansmith and Fielders organization for this recognition. And of course, my heartfelt thanks and appreciation to Winsley Bangit, who nominated me. I feel very privileged that you thought of me 
and I hope that I can continue to live up to your esteem. I wish I could be with you today, but unfortunately, circumstances prevent me from being there in person. Receiving this award is surreal, especially coming from an organization like Mansmith, mm -hmm. whose values of leadership, excellence, and sharing are so aligned with my own. As I receive this award, I can't help but think of the many marketers and mentors who have left their imprint on me and who have helped shape my own approach, both to marketing and to life. If I were to narrow all of it down to a single thought, I would say that it all boils down to having a purpose, a North Star, which is to use the platforms and tools at my disposal to help my fellow Filipinos. This desire to help our countrymen sparked perhaps as a university student doing immersions and outreach at the Ateneo and fueled by what I saw, felt, and experienced in my many hours of fieldwork in the most rural places as a young marketeer is what has kept me focused all these years. It is perhaps also why I have found such a good fit with GLOBE. My own purpose aligned so closely with GLOBE's North Star of staying close to Filipino customers and uplifting their lives. Please don't get me wrong. This does not mean that I am purely altruistic, pushing commercial realities aside. On the contrary, I believe that this North Star has guided the most innovative thinking that has resulted in our most commercially successful products at Globe. For instance, in 2013, I had the opportunity to bring the power of connectivity to the Filipino masses with DM, Globe's value brand. Originally called Touch Mobile, I took on the business when it was the far number four brand that nobody paid attention to. As a value brand, our resources then were very limited, but we knew that we needed to make it affordable to the mass youth who were so desperately craving a means of connecting. So we found a way to build a pricing model that optimized the hours when our bandwidth was least utilized, which is in the evenings, when the students also had the time to connect with friends. This resulted in the highly successful Todo Tawag Magdamag. This is but one example. As we refined our offerings, we also had our customers' needs in mind, resulting in a highly relevant product portfolio, which we also tailored to regional nuances. Later on, again with a desire to make digitalization more accessible to Filipino masses, we launched the biggest mobile data use cases in the Philippines. From social media and chat on the likes of Viber and Twitter, to music and video streaming on Spotify, Netflix, and Disney, these were based on the insight that Filipino customers were hungry for another way to interact and be entertained. It is not commonly known, but our partnership with Facebook that allowed us to offer our free Facebook for all our subscribers was a global first. In fact, a model that Facebook has since rolled out to many other countries around the world, but it was first done here in the Philippines. Soon, we will again lower the barrier to digitalization for more Filipinos as we launch prepaid fiber. We are acutely aware that there is a pressing need to bridge the digital divide and make fiber accessible to more Filipinos. Customers want to learn, earn, and be entertained at home, supported with the speed and stability of a home fiber connection. However, the economics of traditional fiber postpaid plans simply do not work for the vast major majority, rather, of our financially constrained countrymen. By bringing together our expertise in prepaid business models and innovating on our digital and deployment infrastructure, we are set to deliver an innovative prepaid fiber product that is more affordable for a wider market in locations where it is most needed. These are but some examples of how having a North Star, having a purpose that drives and excites you, can actually be a catalyst for innovative and creative thinking. It gives us, as marketeers, a focus and lens through which we can make consistent and relevant decisions. And if our purpose is focused on the same customer that we serve, we become more relevant and our messages are more resonant. Marketing is a field that is constantly evolving and it is a privilege to work in an industry that is so dynamic and innovative. We are privileged to have the talent, tools, channels, and platforms at our disposal 
to influence and affect change. As we look to the future, I believe that we as marketeers will continue to play a critical role in shaping the world around us, in uplifting our nation. We are facing a range of challenges, from social inequality to climate change, to a large digital divide. Marketing will be an essential tool for addressing these challenges and driving positive change. To do this, we will need to continue to innovate, collaborate, and challenge ourselves to think differently. We will need to embrace new technologies, new approaches, and new ways of working. And we will need to remain grounded in our values, our purpose, and our commitment to making a positive impact on our customers' lives. I'm very excited about the possibilities that lie ahead, and I am grateful for the opportunity to be a part of this incredible industry. As we move forward, let us continue to inspire each other to innovate and to make a difference. Thank you again to Man Smith and Fielders for this honor, and thank you to all of my colleagues and friends in the marketing community. Together, we can create a brighter future for our country. Salamat po.